Hi, it's Slater the Science Toy Maker. What if you just don't have time to make a dragonfly helicopter completely from scratch? And or you're working with young kids. The easy dragonfly does not fly as high as the scratch-built kind, but it's easier even for young kids to participate in building and making it goes fast enough that it works for a crowded event. It'll still go as high as a gym ceiling. Put a propeller on a balsa stick. Hold it close or this might happen. You might notice that the propeller is not quite perpendicular. That's okay, it's supposed to be like that. The propeller is so efficient that it'll act like a windmill when air hits it. But don't clock somebody. This is the mother of all rubber bands. From one end, cut a piece 28 centimeters, which happens to be the length of North American printer paper. Tying is easy, but confusing the first time. The overhand is the simplest knot there is, just make a loop and put the end through. But we put two ends together and treat them like one strand. So here goes. Rubber band ends together. Loop ends through. Pull a little tighter, gently. Hold inside the loop, right next to the knot, and pull. The knot actually moves toward the end. This does not work with regular rubber bands, but this special stuff for model airplanes is amazing. The rubber band hooks onto the propeller in front, and it needs another hook in back. Cut the cotton swab off a swab stick. Cut some tape and stick it in the corner at an angle like this. Wrap the tape around. Cut off the extra. The knot always goes in the back. We don't want the rubber band to cross like this because of friction, but if it does, just flip the propeller the other way. Cut the wing from the flat part of a recycled foam plate or takeout container. Print out a pattern page and cut out a double pattern. Tape it on the ends. Rough cut off those pesky edges. The thin foam cuts easily with scissors once you're past that. Once you have a set, you have easy tracing patterns. Tape the ends of the rectangles together. Get the rubber band out of the way and put the wing on so it's about 25 millimeters or an inch from the propeller. Attach it with a couple of pieces of tape. Rub the tape so it really stays on. When you put the rubber band back on, make sure it does not catch on the wing like this. Too much friction. That's better. It's optional to curve the wings up, which is called dihedral. It makes the flying more stable. Splitting the wings to look more like dragonflies does not affect the flight. Be careful not to cut the rubber band. You can decorate if you want to. Your helicopter will go higher if you dab some soap suds, liquid soap, or shampoo right here to reduce friction. As the propeller is facing you, wind the propeller clockwise. Most people do not wind enough at first. The first 50 turns or so don't do much. You can wind more than 150 turns. If you don't have thin foam, you can make the wings out of paper. Although paper is heavier and it doesn't look like a dragonfly, it's easy and it flies almost as well. Just cut a piece of printer paper into quarters. It's best to orient the long side perpendicular to the fuselage. Whatever side the back hook is on, put the paper on the opposite side. A couple of pieces of tape hold it on. I like to clip the top corners. You can fly the helicopter just like this. An advanced aerodynamic trick 
is bending the flaps in the bottom corners like this. It resists spinning even more. There's some amazing science to explore when you build your own helicopter, especially Sir Isaac Newton's three laws of motion and the ocean of air that is the troposphere that we live in. If this project works well for you, please spread the word about a good hands-on science project. If it's not working well for you, communicate with me, Slater, about what's happening so we can solve the problem. Three, two, one.